mutation is a change in the DNA sequence of an organism and mutations are responsible for the large diversity of genes found amongst organisms. You can think of mutations as the ultimate source of genetic variation. Mutations can occur in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, and they can be the result of chromosomal rearrangements, which we refer to as large-scale mutations, or due to chemical changes in a single base pair of a gene, which we call point mutations. We will be looking at both these types of mutations, but we'll start by classifying mutations based on the phenotypic effect they have on the organism. There are several ways in which mutations can affect an organism. For example, a silent mutation has no effect on protein function, either because it results in no change in the protein that is coded, or because it occurs in a non-coding region of DNA. On the other hand, a loss of function mutation may cause a gene to not be expressed at all, resulting in a change in the phenotype of the organism. An example of this type of mutation is albinism, a condition that causes the absence of the skin pigment melanin. Let's look at the molecular nature of mutations next, and we'll start by looking at the main type of mutation, point mutations. The two major categories of point mutations are base substitutions and insertions or deletions. Base substitutions are of two types. In a transition, one base is replaced with another of the same kind, so a purine for a purine or a pyrimidine for a pyrimidine. In a transversion, one base is replaced with another of the opposite kind, so a purine for a pyrimidine or a pyrimidine for a purine. As a result of base substitutions, several different outcomes can occur, depending on the effect these mutations have at the protein level. For example, in a missense mutation, one amino acid is substituted for another in a given protein. The histidine is replaced with a proline, and this may result in a defective protein. If the protein's function isn't affected, however, we refer to this as a neutral mutation. When a nucleotide substitution happens that results in a stop codon being produced, it results in a shorter protein being made because the translation of the mRNA strand is terminated too early. This is called a nonsense mutation and usually results in a non-functional protein. The second major class of gene mutations are the insertions and deletions, and these can result in what is known as a frame shift mutation. Each codon codes for an amino acid. If the base from one of these triplet of bases is deleted, the reading frame shifts to produce a different amino acid. Instead of phenylalanine, this codon now codes for leucine. This will most likely result in an altered protein. Inserting a base also results in a frame shift with similar consequences on the protein's function. In addition to the point mutations that can occur at a single nucleotide, there are also mutations that can affect entire chromosomes. Pieces of chromosomes can break off, get mixed up, and even rejoin in different areas. These types of mutations can cause significant changes in the expression of phenotypes. There are four types of chromosomal mutations. Deletions result in the loss of a piece of a chromosome. A duplication is observed when part of a chromosome is doubled. This usually results from an unequal crossing over event during meiosis, resulting in one homologous chromosome having a deletion mutation, while the other has a duplication mutation. Inversion is when a segment of DNA breaks off a chromosome, flips around, and reattaches in the opposite direction. And finally, translocation is observed when a segment of DNA breaks off and then attaches to a different chromosome. Now that we know about the different types of mutations that can occur, it's worth considering what the significance is of mutations in our world. Often, mutations lead to problems that harm the organism or even result in its death. For example, Tay-Sachs is a rare but fatal disorder caused by a mutation in a single gene. Sometimes, however, new traits that arise from genetic mutations are beneficial. For example, most mammals lose the ability to produce lactase, the enzyme that breaks down the milk sugar lactose, shortly after being weaned. 
Many humans, however, have a mutation that causes the production of lactase to persist throughout their lifetime. This lactase production allows humans to drink milk from infancy to adulthood, which provides them with nutrients such as vitamin A, as well as healthy fats and proteins. If a new trait confers a significant advantage for survival and reproduction, more individuals who have the trait may be stronger or survive longer versus individuals who do not have the trait. Over time, most members of the species may inherit the trait. This process is known as natural selection, the driving force behind evolution. Thus, mutations are essential for evolution to occur.